Aries, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How's my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing? Subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Beautiful queens, handsome kings, what's going on, Aries? What's going on, poor babies? What's going on? How's y'all bulls? And y'all rings? Are y'all messing with Taurus? Oh, shit. Eric, what's going on? All right. Surrender to the divine. So, Aries, it's time for you to surrender to the divine. What you surrendering to the divine? It's the pro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a tower moment. Okay. Ooh. Our towers ain't bad things, so sometimes we need tower moments. For okay, Aries. Wow, y'all got somebody very, very immature around you. I mean, like very, very, very fucking immature. Page of Wands upside down. Y'all got some bad news coming in about somebody trying to create conflict. They act like they wanted to plant seeds and grow with you, but they really got a lack of commitment and greedy and greedy. Page of Pentacles. Y'all got somebody that is very immature around you, Aries. I don't know if it's I, I hear teenager. Maybe or they Y'all or plain and simple. Aries, you got somebody that's in an adult body. That has a kid mind if it's not a teenager. But if you've got a teenager in your life, Aries, I will watch them. Because they create. Okay, maybe this is just for one Aries. But you might have a teenager that's jealous of the person that you dating. So they creating conflict so that you and this person have a lack of commitment. Because they're greedy on your energy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, you know, kids, maybe you've been single for so long. My beautiful queen or handsome king. That they feel like, you know, they ain't ready for somebody to be in your life. But that that's just for one person. Everybody else, you got an adult-ass kid in your life. That's planting seeds to create conflict for you. Because they're greedy. And they got a lack of commitment towards you. Whether it's family, lover, friend, yeah, y'all got somebody around y'all that link five of swords upside down. They couldn't win at all costs, so now they linger resentment towards you. Wow. Five of swords. And there's more than one person in this card, too. Yeah, y'all probably had somebody that teamed up against you with other people that tried to create your conflict, and it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. And look, you see how the young person, it was the young person that created all the conflict in the group. But these two people should have never teamed up with you against anybody with a young person and that don't mean it had to be it could be somebody young it don't have to be the teenager but it could have been i don't know but it could have been i don't know but the young person created a lot they wanted to win at all costs look somebody crying in despair and the old person like what the fuck did we do teaming up with you look the conflict they tried to win at all costs they couldn't but now they linger resentment towards you because they couldn't. Yeah. yeah. This person was always a shark. Knight of Cups upside down. They didn't have no real love for you. All they did was bring you a lot of disappointment. And now there's some moodiness going around. I don't know if the moodiness is from you or from them. Probably them. Moody as fuck. If they resent me, if they linger on resentment towards you because the shit they tried to plan against you didn't work. 
It didn't work. And whoever this person was tried to make you a stalemate and blind you of them trying to make you their bullseye and they target. They probably try to blind you trying to come in there with that fake ass love. But now the cups is the player to me because that's the person that comes in. This is just my player. Everybody's different. But I think I call the Knight of Cups a player because this they, that's emotions. And when somebody's playing with your emotions, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to take it back. That's better than the player. That, that That's the player in me. This person was always a shark. This person was always a shark. And they was always hoping you fell off that motherfucking broom for them to eat you up. They always tried to blind you that you was always their target. But this person always looked at you as a target. Always. And they finna get bad news that the conflict they tried to create while they was being greedy and stingy and resenting, resent, they got linger resentment towards you too. High priestess upside down. This person had a lot of secrets. This person might even be in the third party and had a mistress. Maybe it was the mistress that's lingering in resentment towards you because this person won't leave you. I don't know. But it's a player. But guess what? Whoever got these illusions and secrets against you, some of them even went to a card reader in the card or high priestess. Some of these motherfuckers went to a tarot card reader, a room reader, somebody in the spiritual world that told them that it, what they're trying to do to you ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. That they planted bad seeds. That's why they linger in resentment towards you. Yeah. So, but whoever this person was tried to blind you the whole time they wanted to stab you in the back. Look at it. Two cups upside down. This was a karmic soulmate. Soulmates ain't always lovers either. You can have karmic cousins. You can have karmic employees. You can have karmic bosses. You can have karmic parents. Yes. But whatever this karmic motherfucker did, didn't bind you. Devil upside down. It did not bind you. You have freedom. That's why they linger resentment. Because you got freedom for the shit they tried to cause you. Mm-hmm. With their uh, oppulsive, overbearing ass. Yeah, the King of Wands. Uh, this person was very impulsive and overbearing. Very impulsive and overbearing. Yeah, look. Ooh. King and Queen outside down. This person faked spirituality. This person is very jealous and have a lot of insecurities and very selfish very very selfish very selfish very selfish was it a couple doing this to you because king and queen yeah yeah this person tried to keep you look eight of swords in mental jail this person tried to keep you in mental prison <laughs> but they better hope they don't go to prison when the shit come out, the shit they did. I'm just telling you what my spirit guy said. Hey, hey, hmm, yeah. Because the angel's temperance is bringing balance back into your life. If balance ain't already been brought back to your life, the angels is on their way to bring balance back to your life of this from what this person was trying to do, creating all this conflict and all this other shit. Yeah, this person, three of wands, this upside down, this person, you might not even ever knew that this person was involved in the bullshit you was always going through, but this person is frustrated, and they try to cause obstacles and delays in your life, but they better stop, because they just did, they just bought obstacles and delays in their own goddamn life. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at this cruel, deceptive. The ten man got more heart than this motherfucker. This motherfucker ain't even got no motherfucking heart, Aries. None. And they don't use their brain. They upside down. 
King of Swords makes a head over heart decision, but this motherfucker don't have no heart and all the blood going to their brain, so they can't make no, yeah. And look, the Hierophant. This person might end up in jail for real. I don't know what this person did, but the angels is bringing balance back to your life. Temperance. Yeah, this was a cruel ass motherfucker. Whoever, look, this bitter bitch or bitter bum shouldn't have did whatever the fuck they did to you being cruel and deceptive. Because you finna get victory over their ass. And the world's gonna see the victory. Six of six of ones. You finna have victory over whoever the fuck this is that try to cause you all this. You don't worry about it. You will be rewarded for the shit they did to you, and you finna have victory. And the it's gonna be a crowd that sees the victory you have of this person with that cruel and desire. Y'all, this was some people teaming up against you, and it was the people teaming up against you of authority. Wands and swords, kings. Yeah, this person teamed up with other people of authority against you, and this person going to end up in, I don't know what this person did, but the angels finna bring back balance to whatever these illusions and lies is. And I will linger resentment towards you too if I try to get away with some cool ass shit with this. And you stay, this is why they linger resentment because they know you still going to have victory. They, somebody already told them. Somebody already told them you're going to win. Surrender to the divine? <laughs> now I know what it means. The angels is finna bring you balance. This person that whoever was trying to create conflict to, towards you, they finna have to surrender to the divine. The divine. Justice is coming from above. From, ooh, I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Woo!